a period, or the more scientific term, menstruation, is the discharge of blood and tissue from a woman's uterus that comes out of a vagina. These usually can last for about 3 to 7 days. This occurs when the brain sends LH and FSH to the ovaries. This prompts the ovaries to release estrogen, and also an egg cell. The egg cell is sent to be fertilized, but as you probably know by now, that requires a sperm cell. Without a sperm cell, the egg cell simply disintegrates. Sometime after that happens, progesterone is released. Progesterone causes the uterus lining to build up in preparation for a fertilized egg to attach and develop. But guess what? The egg cell already disintegrated. Due to this, the buildup just continues until eventually it breaks down, resulting in a mixture of blood and tissue. No, not that type of tissue, this type of tissue. This mixture eventually gets released, and thus, a period. After a woman's period is over, her body goes through all of this all over again. This entire cycle of bleeding caused by the release of certain hormones, eggs, and buildup is called a menstrual cycle which generally lasts for about 21 to 35 days. Most girls will generally get their first period at around age 12, although earlier or later than that will still be considered normal. There are certain products designed to capture menstrual blood. These include pads, tampons, and cups. Now, as you saw from the title of this video, I'll be talking about some misconceptions about periods. Despite menstruation being a commonplace phenomenon throughout the world and history, it seems that a lot of people still don't understand this phenomenon. So I'll begin dismantling these misconceptions that people have conceived about menstruation. Starting off with, number one, periods only last the day. This is just simply false. As I stated earlier, the bleeding can last up to seven days. Number two, a period happens the same day every month. This is also false. Yes, periods do generally occur monthly. However, irregularities can arise. These irregularities do tend to be more present in adolescents, but get more regular as they age. As I mentioned earlier, a menstrual cycle lasts for about 21 to 35 days. Number three, women who live together can sink their periods. Nope, not sure at all. This misconception comes from a study conducted by psychologist Martha K. McClintock in the 1970s, which involved 135 female college students who lived in the same dorm. Throughout the academic year, the girls provided updates on their menstrual cycles three times. The results? Their periods synced up. That's also why this idea of period syncing has been dubbed the McClintock effect. However, later studies were not truly able to replicate the results of McClintock's study. Thus, as of now, the McClintock effect does not have a scientific basis. Number four, a woman's period is related to the lunar cycle. Also not true at all. Now, it's to be said that the menstrual cycle and the lunar cycle do last approximately the same amount of time, which is possibly where this misconception stems from. However, this is simply coincidental, thus it has no scientific backing. Number five, periods are supposed to be painful. This one is somewhat false. Yes, I know, this one also surprised me. Some women just don't feel pain during their period. For the ones that do, this type of pain is called dysmenorrhea. There are two types of dysmenorrhea, primary dysmenorrhea, and secondary dysmenorrhea. Primary dysmenorrhea is normal. It happens. It is usually most prevalent in the first couple of years of menstruation, and eventually, it might go away. Secondary dysmenorrhea, on the other hand, has underlying causes. These causes may be pathogenic in origin, such as pelvic inflammatory disease, or an abnormal uterine structure, such as endometriosis, or just something else entirely. You should consult your doctor for secondary dysmenorrhea. Number six, you can't do anything major during your period. This misconception somewhat stems from the previous one, plus some other social factors, but it's also false. 
being on your period should not interfere with everyday activities, such as going to school, hanging out with friends, working, etc. If it is, something is wrong. Number 7. Periods are dirty. <sighs> okay. Menstrual blood is just blood. It's just like the blood that runs through your veins. Sure, some pathogens could reside in menstrual blood, and that would mean it's a biohazard. But so is the blood that isn't the result of menstruation. Menstrual blood isn't inherently hazardous. There is nothing in particular that makes menstrual blood dangerous or toxic or whatever nonsense that has been co-opted by social stigma. And finally, number eight, menstrual blood can be held in. Nope, 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 nope. Menstrual blood is not like urine. They come out differently. Urine exits out of the urethra, and menstrual blood exits out of the vagina. The urethra has sphincters, which are special muscles that can constrict or relax and open up a passageway, meaning urine can be held in. The vagina does not, so menstrual blood cannot be held in. This misconception is the reason why there are some people saying, women don't need menstrual products, just hold it in. This is a ridiculous statement to make and also a dangerous one to make. And there you have it. I wasn't able to cover every single misconception in this video, as that would take forever. But I hope this video did this topic justice anyways. It's important we educate ourselves on this important biological phenomenon that approximately 50% of the human population experiences, and also break the social stigma surrounding this topic. Whether you just got your first period and are perplexedly confused, or you're on your 42nd one, or you know someone who just had their period, I hope this video was educational and enjoyable for you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.